Hello, and I'm back. Uh, this is Kiki, uh, doing uh, Conflict 1B. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I was engaged with a fighter, and uh, he got behind me, unfortunately. And uh, I basically have to kind of figure out how to get get back around and get situated. And uh, pretty much the actions that you can see there, your defensive and retreative actions, are realistic of what the plane could do. Like if you're a helicopter, you could of course turn your helicopter around. You can descend. You can accelerate. You can you know ascend. Uh, like see, he's a fighter, so of course he has like flare and chaff and you know that sort of stuff. Uh, so, like I said, it sort of makes sense and it sort of doesn't. Uh, I, the G-force thing, I still don't get. I think it's just uh, excess detailism. Uh, but pretty much, uh, what this game is about is position, uh, where your thing is in relation to their thing, and every and everything moves. So, uh, gives you an idea of kind of where to picture things which is kind of good it would, as far as descriptions and describing goes and whatnot uh, like I said before uh, I did try to get in a couple of good battles to where you can actually see this more in action but uh, I don't think I did a good good enough job on some of it but I did try my best Uh, most of the battles here do end rather quickly, and the damage levels can be a bit silly. Like, uh, how one missile does like 50 times the uh, life of like a one like foot soldier. <laughs> Makes no sense. Uh, I mean, it's a little overkill. I don't just say you've killed the enemy. <laughs> you don't need to know that much detail about how much you pwned them. But it is kind of hilarious. Uh, here's like another example here of the combat system. Uh, basically, I'm using a uh, uh, mobile Sam, and he's a helicopter. I don't know. He's I think he's a fire jet. I I don't remember. I just kind of clicked it. Was kind of half looking. Anyway, basically right now what we're doing is we both don't know where each other's at, so we have to look for each other. Uh, I caught sight of him, and he uh, lost track of me. And surprisingly, uh, he flew over me. Uh, so basically I'm staring at his butt, and I fire a missile. And... Uh, since he's a helicopter, he can't really do much here. So he just pretty much eats it. And, uh, let's go splat. Uh, again, the FP gain and FP loss are way skewed, though. That's the one thing I don't like about the game, but, eh. It's, a sp it's okay, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry for yawning. Uh, but, uh. Basically, uh. The main goal for this map is just capture the middle. Uh. Get sec secured by your mobile SAMs and, uh. Go from there. Enemy can't do much, you can't do much. Uh, pretty much the idea here is the enemy sends out uh, aircraft constantly to try to attack your factories. So if you can keep swatting their, their aircraft down to the point where they don't ha have anything, you can start spamming jeeps and you can uh, start taking the fight to them. And eventually you win. Uh, Every town that you gain is uh, 
100 fan points and that's the main thing that I wanted to show for this one is the cap different capturing systems between this one and Advanced Wars. I still haven't decided which Advanced Wars I'm doing. I think I'm doing two because uh, Days of Ruins is like way too off on itself to really compare it to anything. Um, I mean, I do like the Days of Ruin uh, series because they did take a lot. They did expand a whole heck of a lot on that, and you can tell how much effort they did. They, I mean, they tried to incorporate battleships and carriers in a lot more of an effective way than the uh, rest of the series was. And they did try to make uh, war a little more uh, understandable rather than comical. Because the other one is more like you got C a bunch of CEOs playing like chess or something with each other, just kind of playing around and being goofy. Uh, versus the Days of Ruin, they actually kind of go more about the uh, officers' lives and the players' lives on some of it during the campaign. So it was kind of a welcome look. But like I said before, this one's more focused on the capture system and the combat system of it. Uh, and I'll get into more details on the next part of how how I mean by comparing it. And I'll have video gameplay of Advanced Wars 2 as well. Uh, but basically for right now... Uh, just kind of uh, if you like I said uh, if you have any requests for any games that you want compared uh, to either their like their, their past equivalent to their modern equivalent uh, I will do my best to try and uh, do your request uh, might not be able to uh, but I'll, I'll make a good attempt at it uh, council like N64, I don't really know how I can do on that one. Uh, PS2 kind of get, I mean PS1 kind of gave me enough issues as it is, so that's as far up there as I'm gonna push it. Uh, I've tried uh, GameCube before on a different computer uh, once, and I had so much lag that uh, I'm not bothering to touch that again. Anyway, this will be Key signing out for uh, Part 1B. Uh, thank you.